Yo, what is up guys? It's Pedro here. Today, I'm going to be making a video on why I think Dwayne Haskins will have a breakout year in 2020. And I'm going to be showing you guys some workout videos he had this offseason by himself and with Kelvin Harmon, Terry McLaurin, Steven Sims, and some other Redskins receivers. If you guys are new, subscribe for Redskins and NFL content. So let's get right into the video. As you guys all know, last year, Dwayne Haskins had an up and down year, started the year off against the Giants where he got thrown in there when Case Keenum was hurt, and he threw three interceptions. Brandon Sheriff wasn't playing. Terry McLaurin wasn't playing. He was just thrown in a terrible situation, and then he didn't play again until the Vikings game, again, where Case Keenum got hurt, was thrown into a terrible situation, and threw an interception. But as the season went on and he got more opportunities in practice and more opportunities in the game he slowly and slowly got better last couple games he played he was playing really really good football which is really encouraging before he got hurt something else that is very encouraging is he has been putting in a lot of work this offseason he has lost about 20 pounds from the time the redskins drafted him to now which is also very encouraging so now i'm going to be showing you guys his workout videos with steven sims kelvin Harmon. Terry McLaurin and some other receivers so let's get into it and then we'll talk about why I think he will be a breakout player in 2020. What do you want to achieve playing the quarterback position? I want to go to the NFL. I want to have an education and be a smart quarterback. As you guys saw from those workout videos, Dwayne Haskins has been putting in a lot of work. He's been working out with Terry McLaurin, Steven Sims, Kelvin Harmon, and a couple other receivers like Mohamed Sanu and Antonio Brown, which is really encouraging that he's putting in the work. So now let's get into why I think Dwayne Haskins will have a breakout year in 2020. So first, if you just look at Dwayne Haskins' stats last year without really diving into them, you would think he did not have a very good rookie year. 
because if you look at it, seven touchdowns, seven interceptions with the 59% completion percentage, that's nothing special with a 76 quarterback rating or pass rating. But if you look at his game logs, you really see that he improved a lot after his first couple starts. So if you look at uh, his first game that he played in week four and his second game in week eight, where he was just thrown in there as a backup quarterback, he did not play well at all because he wasn't put in the right situation. But then if you look at his first week as a starter, he played okay, completing 15 passes out of 22. But then he progressively got better uh, against the Jets through two touchdowns, one interception. Still didn't play great. And then against Detroit through one interception, but he did win the game and made a few key good throws at the end of the game to get us to win that game. And then also didn't play anything special against Carolina, but also got us to win there. And then against Green Bay, was playing hurt, which really hurt him stat-wise, but got us one touchdown and one interception. And then against Philly, against a, a weaker secondary, he really had his breakout game. 260 yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions, 121 pass rating. And then the same thing against the Giants. In one half, he had two touchdowns, 143 pass rating, 133 yards. He played really good, and it was just really encouraging because if you look at the stats as a starter, he threw seven touchdowns and three interceptions, which is pretty good. That's better than a two-to-one touchdown-to-interception ratio, which is really good for a quarterback. If you throw, let's say, 30 touchdowns and like 13 interceptions, which is kind of the ratio he had, that's a pretty good season. So that's something to be encouraged about. And also, when he was in college at Ohio State, in only one year as a starter, he progressively got better, and he threw 54 touchdowns and I think eight interceptions in his final year at college and that was the only year he played as a starter at Ohio State in college so that's why he's kind of raw and the same thing happened in the preseason this year I think against the Browns he threw three interceptions looked absolutely terrible but then in his final game against the Ravens looked pretty good he progressively got better and I think that's what's going to happen next year when he has a lot more games we'll see him progressively get better because that's exactly what he did this season and I think he still doesn't have the best weapons, but his weapons are a lot more improved because he has uh, Steven Sims, who's going to be a lot better, and, and he's going to have a bigger role in the offense. Kelvin Harmon's coming into his second year. Terry McLaurin's going to get better. And then we also added Antonio Gandy Golden and Antonio Gibson, and hopefully our offensive line is a little bit better than it was last year. So he's got a lot, a lot of young players on the team that should develop and be good pieces for him so that's something that I'm encouraged about because he keeps getting better every in every phase that he's played in in college he got better in the preseason he got better as he went on and in the regular season so I think hopefully it carries on to next year because a player like Haskins who didn't have much college college experience is going to take time to develop so that's why he didn't have immediate success in his rookie year but I think he's going to get better. And if you look at uh, PFF, they're not the best, but they're decent when it comes to quarterbacks and certain positions. But Haskins ranked 10th in PFF passing grade from week 9 to week 17. And that's not 10th in rookies. That's 10th in the NFL. So that means he was the top, he was the top 10 quarterback from week 9 to 17. And week 9 to 17 was every week he started. And I think he had the best pass rating amongst rookies from week uh, 13 to 17 as well. So he really played good when he was a starter, especially in those last five games. But week nine to 17 as a starter, he played pretty good because the fans or the NFL fans that just look at the stats without diving uh, deep into it, just look at the seven touchdowns and seven interceptions and the completion percentage. But if you dive deeper into it, he progressively got better. And I also want to look at the completion percentage. So he started off with a 52 and 60% completion percentage, but then he got better, especially the last four weeks of the season, 52, which is not that great, but they really didn't throw the ball much there. And then 60%, which is above average in the 67 and 80. So especially the last few weeks, he played a lot better. And I think also another reason why I think he's going to have a breakout year this year is because he lost a bunch of weight. And it's not only that he lost a bunch of weight, weight but he's been putting in so much work in the offseason, and that's why he's lost the weight. He hasn't lost the weight on purpose. Yes, he wanted to lose a little bit, but he's lost weight mostly just because he's been working, and he said that wasn't the uh, intention to lose weight. So he's been playing, he's been putting in a lot of work 
Uh, right here, John Kimes said he uh, weighed about 235 to 237 pounds when the Redskins drafted him and was around 227 entering the offseason. Now he's down to 218, which is about 20 pounds lighter, which is really, really encouraging. I'm I'm just so happy that Haskins has putting, been putting in the work, and I'm looking for a really good year for him this year. Let me know what you guys think. What do you guys think his stats will be? I'm just looking for an improved Haskins, maybe 25 plus touchdowns around that range, maybe 20 touchdowns, 10 interceptions. I wouldn't be mad with that. Maybe a little higher in that high 20s range with uh, like 13 interceptions. I wouldn't be mad with that. He just has to improve. And then if he's a fringe pro bowler next year, not necessarily fringe pro bowler because a lot of bad QBs make the pro bowl like Mitch Trubisky and others. But if he's kind of in that 25 touchdown to 12 interception uh, range, two to one ratio, look for him to make a big leap in his uh, third year and possibly make the Pro Bowl in his third year. Again, guys, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoy it. And yeah, Haskins, everything rides on Haskins this year because I think our defense is solid enough to make the playoffs. But if Haskins plays good, we could win more games than a lot of people think. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like the video if you can and subscribe if you're new. Turn on those post notifications and peace.